In this problem, we have an oil slick in the shape of what amounts to a very thin cylindrical disc. And the radius is expanding, and the height is changing, and in this case, we're going to find out that the height is growing. So it's getting thicker, and it's spreading out more and more. But that's something that I'm getting ahead of the story. All we're really told at the beginning is that it's growing at 2,000 cubic centimeters per minute. And so we are first asked to find out uh, how fast the thickness is growing, the height, if they give us the information about how fast the radius is growing. So this is a related rates problem. And so we write dvdt equals 2,000, but it also equals the rate of change of the volume, which is pi r squared h. So we write that out as uh, pi times 2r dr dt times h plus pi times r squared dh dt. So what do we know and what do we have to solve for? Okay, so we know that this total quantity equals 2,000. We know that the radius at the time of interest is 100 centimeters. We know that a dr dt is 2.5. We have that. Our height is 0.5. Again, we know this is 100 squared. That's going to be 10,000. And dh dt is the quantity that we're solving for. So, putting all this together, we get 2,000 over pi minus at 2 times 100 times a half is 250. And then that entire thing has to be divided by 10,000. And so we get a result of 0 0.0321. centimeters per minute as the value of dh dt. So the height is gradually growing but not very fast while the radius is expanding. Okay. In part b we're told that at some point in time, and we don't know when this is, the oil slick starts to be sucked up by some kind of device for removing oil slicks. And therefore, dvdt has now changed. It's no longer just adding 2,000 cubic centimeters per minute. It's also subtracting it off at the rate of r of t, where r of t is, is how fast the machine uh, sucks up the oil, and that's given as 400 root T. So they ask us when the oil spill reaches its maximum size. Well, that's going to be so long as dvdt is increasing. So long as dvdt is, is uh, positive, we're going to continue to accumulate oil on the surface. So all we're really asked to find is when does 2,000 minus 400 root T flip over from being a positive quantity to being a negative quantity, and that's going to be when it first equals zero. And so we have 2,000 
equals 400 root t and dividing by both sides by 400 we see that um, root t equals 5 and therefore t equals 25 minutes. That's the point at which dvdt switches from positive to negative and therefore we have the maximal accumulation. Finally, we're asked to say what, set up an integral that explains what the volume of the oil slick is at t equals 25 minutes. And we're told to start at um, some time t equals 0, where they're going to tell us how much oil there is in the oil slick. And so we're just going to integrate at that um, rate that the value is growing at. And we know finally that that V0 is 60,000 cubic centimeters. And so our final answer is just this integral. I'll just write it again for completeness. That is V of 25.